Right, hello. Welcome back to the channel, one and all. Um, today we have a Nintendo Switch Lite that doesn't switch on. It was apparently supposed to power up when you turn it on, but um, the screen goes off when you press this button. But um, it just doesn't seem to power up. I've had it on charge for a while. The um, it is taking a charge, so I'm just going to clean up this and then get it apart. Okay, that's a bit cleaner. Let's find a screwdriver. Somewhere, anywhere, over the rainbow. Well, this one will do. <coughs> get in here and see what the problem might be. And those are driving screws, for God's sake. Nintendo just getting ridiculous these days. Right, let's try and get in here. Nothing glaringly obvious to start with. should have a nice camera upgrade next week. I've got an iPhone 12 Pro coming, which will be a nice upgrade from this um, XS that I'm currently using. So let's pop that out. Nicely water damaged, doesn't it? And corroded. 
Um, let's pop the power cable off. Yeah. Anything else looking iffy? at this point so yeah <clears throat> it's um get another switch just plug that in yep battery power comes on Let's put the battery back on and try that again. But that is looking pretty corroded under there. So yeah, there's nothing at all going on there. It's not drawing any current or power. Oh! Making a noise. Right, so it's making a noise. Yep, yeah, can hear that. Okay. Well, yeah. No, I'm going to leave that there for a bit. I've got to go and do some work, but I'll be back. Okay, so. Turn that fan off, maybe I'll be able to hear what's going on. I don't think anything's really happening. Probably because this isn't plugged in here. Oh look, we have a screen, but the battery is flat. So I suppose I'll have to charge it up. Where's the charger? Does that... Come on, excellent. It's charging, so I'm just going to leave it like that for a bit. And in the meantime, I'm going to charge this phone up. Well, this has um, been on charge for a while now. I've gone through the setup process and seems to be coming on okay and well that button doesn't feel right let's just um controllers and sensors test input devices buttons so yeah it works but it's not feeling 100% and obviously if I um, do that hmm. 
I wonder if this just wasn't in right and that was the entire reason but I need to take the battery off because as I said before there looks to be a bit of corrosion around there so I'm going to find a cotton bud or two that area a bit of a clean up. So I'm going to get some IPA on there. Clean that up. So that's that cleaned up. And then whilst we're in here, because this button seems wonky, I'm going to um, remove this. And we'll have a look at that there. So that's off. Take that out of the way. And just um, get a bit of IPA on that. And the button are good, clean and of this so yeah I think that this literally just had got corroded somehow near that um, ribbon connector and taking the ribbon connector out and putting it back in literally solved the problem just got that little bit of corrosion that was on there off of course, now we've cleaned it, and it shouldn't be a problem, but I'll have to, of course, give this some serious testing and try it with a cartridge. But that feels nicer. Didn't need to take that screw out at the bottom. Apologies for not having a new video up sooner. Um, I did start trying to repair a Game Boy Color, and I'll get round to finishing that video at some point, but it's not going well so far. I'm having no end of trouble with it, and um, well. I've ended up with one working Game Boy Color and one not working color, now becoming two not working Game Boy Colors. So I've made the working one worse by trying to use it as a, a test device and taking some parts off of it. So yeah, that's going to be an interesting one, but hey ho. I'll need to come back in here once my tube of thermal paste has arrived because that needs to come off and get replaced but for now that can go back on pretty 
pretty sure the gold looking one goes in here. He says, not knowing at all if that's right. And getting his fat hands in the way of the camera. Okay, let's try and put the other screws in first. ever so slightly out of line. There we go. Just had to loosen them up a bit. So apart from putting the back on, let's um, pop a cartridge in. Yep, screen comes on. Gonna have to give these joysticks a clean up and the whole thing really, but perfect. We're um, working. Let's check all the buttons. That button feels, that one there, feels so much better now. Just for a quick clean. Controllers and sensors. Test input devices. One, two. Yep. That helps if I don't keep pushing that one, but yeah. Excellent. So yeah, I've just got to put the back on that one now and it will be all set and obviously give it a good few hours worth of playing to see if any um, problems do occur. But I think that was a nice easy fix of just reseating a ribbon cable. So yeah, thanks very much cash converters somewhere or other. Um, what was it? I don't know. Cash converters here. It wasn't. It was a. It wasn't one hundred and nine ninety nine. It was sixty nine ninety nine delivered, but no um, charger, unfortunately. So cool. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Catch you in the next one. Bye.